Hello, hello, check. Am I audible to all of you? Very clearly? Okay, and before I begin with my talk, uh, this is off the record, okay? Um, the whole purpose of the talk today is to instill something in you, right? To reawaken that spirit in you, isn't it? So whatever I say, I want to connect with you today. I just don't want to communicate because connection is what matters. So once I start talking, I hope, I hope that your response is extremely motivating. Thank you so much. So here it goes. This is His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso. He has devoted his entire life to spreading the message of peace and nonviolence. When I have the privilege of meeting him in an event as a translation compere, I could just see the amount of positivity and exuberance that he radiated from within. He knew his true purpose. You know, when people know their true purpose, they radiate just like that. There is a notion that some of the most highly qualified people, people who seem to be very driven and focused, know their true purpose. But if it were true, why would so many individuals change jobs at the peak of their career, right? Why would some of the most renowned industrialists renounce everything to become a monk or a nun? I include myself in this list. I have a little story to share with all of you. It was during the lockdown. The number of cases around the world were off the roof. Businesses were shutting down. Life seemed very uncertain and stagnant. And I'm sure during this phase, most of us questioned ourselves, right? Will we ever have a better tomorrow? What's to happen next? Will life ever be normal again? It's like hopelessness plagued all of us. We lost our sense of purpose. But the good news is here. I found mine. I found my purpose during the pandemic. Can you believe that? You know, the news headlines were melancholic everywhere. I wanted to make the most out of even such a tumultuous situation. This, the time of the pandemic, was also a time of self-introspection for me, especially with regards to how I could thrive in my own industry. Well, I had been in the communications industry for almost a decade as a lifestyle writer, international executive coach, public speaker, and translator. And now, I wanted to venture out into an uncharted territory. So, I thought, why not start a digital talk show? And I'll tell you this, I didn't even use my Instagram account before that. No experience whatsoever, hated social media. But I wanted to take the risk and do it anyway. This is the first ever banner that I posted on my Instagram page. The podcast that I ever hosted and produced, the first one, The Tenzin Show. And what was the show about? The show was about unraveling the success journeys of extraordinary achievers. And my first ever esteemed guest, as you can see, is the popular Indian television actor, Sumit Sachdev. You know, I was really happy because I always wanted to have a talk show of my own and look at the first guest, Sumit Sachdev, wow, bingo. But even though I was happy, I still felt Unhappy. So weird, right? What a melange of a feeling to have. I strongly felt a sense of disarray. It was a very peculiar feeling. I was puzzled and I questioned myself. 
isn't this what I always wanted to do in life? You know, to be more successful, to have a talk show. Isn't this talk show going to help me be more successful? Yes, I thought, being successful is the purpose of my life. Like all of us, right? But I was miserably wrong. Doing the show, the Tenzin show, was not the purpose of my life. It was my goal, and being successful was my ambition. And oftentimes, we confuse our goals and ambitions as the purpose of our life. And just like our goals and ambitions change at every point in our lives, our purpose can also change at any juncture in our life. It's okay to have multiple purposes, but at our very core, it's important to find our truest major purpose. As I started interviewing guests from plethora of diverse backgrounds, that is, people like Hollywood and Bollywood celebrities, high-performance athletes, industrialists, researchers, world-renowned chefs, I realized that they all have a common trait. Can you guess what that trait was? That trait was that the purpose of their life was not about them. Their purpose in life was much more than themselves. They had a higher purpose in life, which is what made them so extraordinary because they changed the world, because they brought about a revolution, not just for themselves, but for the whole world, which was the opposite of what I thought. And then and there, I had an aha moment that I understood why I felt so purposeless even though I thought I had a purpose in life. The magic of finding your true purpose is that it uncomplicates your life. You feel satiated with who you are and with what you're doing. As I laid my complete focus on service, I understood that the interviews that I was doing with the guest on the Tencent show wasn't mechanical anymore. It was just so organic. It was right from the bottom of my heart. I began to thoroughly enjoy interviewing guests. And this genuine energy reached my viewers and listeners. Because when I started the Tencent show, I had no idea that it would explode in into something so big that the audiences from around the world will love this show. And do you know why they resonated with it so much? They resonated because each guest on the show had their own story of how they defied the odds and carved out the path for themselves. So, I understood that service has to be my top priority. In addition, I was able to represent the people in my community, which is the Tibetan community, and make Tibetans proud. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, I hope and dream one day that many Tibetan kids, youths, come here one day, speak at this platform, this is the biggest dream that I have in my heart. I feel extremely happy that I get to impact the youth in my community and invigorate them to not only dream big, dreaming big is important, but with that, how can you be purposeful to humanity? That is very important because the show isn't just about success journeys and how they became successful. It's also about after listening to this podcast, after listening to this show, what are the viewers and listeners doing? Are they changing their life, right? So the whole purpose of my life is service. In addition, 
Whenever I conduct the free English classes that I do for Tibetan kids, because uh, most Tibetan kids who speak only our language, they find it really difficult to communicate in English when they step outside of our community. So whenever I conduct these free English classes, I feel so purposeful because even though it's a small initiative, you never know who you're impacting, right? When I found my true purpose, magic happened. I was no longer overburdened by expectations, by perfectionism, and parameters. Let us all agree that we are all chasing to seek our true purpose in life. Why are you even breathing right now? Why are you here? Wouldn't that be amazing if you know that? So, let your intuition act as your inner GPS to position you in the right route. Set yourself free by finding what you're truly here for. Thank you so much. Thank you.